just want to show you something because the one question I get asked time and time again is how do I know the difference between blackthorn, uh, where sloes grow from, and hawthorn. This is a hawthorn leaf and which will have um, haws on it, you'll find some of those in a bit. And here is a blackthorn stem which has, if you go up to this one here, look here's blackthorn berries aka sloes and you'll see that the leaves are very very different okay now then um, if you like sloe gin these are sloes uh, they are ripe really uh, I would say from the middle of August right until the winter depending on where you are um, whenever you pick them make sure that they're a bit squadgy you can actually ripen them in a freezer. So if you pop them in a freezer then that means that the skins will break down and it'll become uh, um, not quite so um, harsh flavoured. Um, so slow gin, not a big fan myself to be quite honest. I think I've judged just too many slow gin contests and drunk too much of the stuff. But where these are really nice is if you um, get yourself a big couple of handfuls of them, which won't take you long, cover the water and boil and then strain out the seeds. Let me show you the stone that is in the middle of a slow. You see it's quite big isn't it? It's a plum family as you can see. So boil these, squeeze the pips out and then mash them and use those in smoothies, over porridge, in cocktails or better still make your own slow syrup and put that in your gin rather than having it all in one big bottle. So yeah, full of vitamin C, something, something that's easy to find wherever you are. Just keep your eyes peeled for these little black shiny lovelies and enjoy. Mm -hmm.